all down into the mid 50s, maybe lower 50s for the Knights out. Wind is out of the northwest and howling from the left field corner to the right field corner. It will help anything to left, knock down, help anything to right, knock down anything to left as Wild will step in. Cameron, left handed hitter. Two misses, 0 oh, 1 delivery. Bunted out in front of the plate. Schusler has it, sets his feet, gets him down the line. 2 3 on the put out, and that's the way the ball game starts. For a while. He kind of didn't the ball out in front of home plate, didn't get out of the, of the brown turf there in front of home plate. Schusler quickly on it. Had to get quickly on it because Wild was good speed getting down the line. That brings the DH. August Ramirez to the plate. Schusler caught last night's game and earlier today. Back to back games this week. As the DH from the left side steps in. First pitch misses upstairs for ball one. Senior. Left handed hitter. He's got some pop. Five homers on the year. Ripped on the ground. Thomas has it. Steps on the back. Two quick outs for Tumas here. In the top of the first. Getting the ball over the plate. Make him swing it. That ball hit firmly down there to Jared. Nice easy play stepping on the back. Dalen Pena will step in. He's a junior from Corpus Christi. 6'1", 220 pound right handed hitter. Open stance. To set. Pitch slider in there for a strike. Matthew Martinez calling the balls and strikes tonight. The 0 1. Break the ball. Misses back to the screen. Jerry Johnson at first. Clay Park at second. And Doug Williams, the arbiter at third. <laughs> Doug, the veteran. In the crew got behind the plate for the last five outs that ended the suspended game from last night. Now at third. Look out. All right. Up over the top. Pena. That'll get your attention. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is right over his head. Almost hit the bat. The two one. Slider upstairs. Good hitters count now. Coming three and one. There is a difference between that phone ringing. Get up when we get into the game and get loose. And knowing which misses inside. Too much with a two out walk. Steven Trout. It's fifth season. As a head coach, 22, they went 47 games. They were one out away from the Super Regional. Sound familiar? In the same ballpark. In the same ballpark. Lugo steps in. Upstairs, and all of a sudden, Two quick outs, command problems. Well, sometimes the young freshman, that ball got away from him, went over Pena's head. So it can, it can get to you a little bit. On three out of the zone since. Pitch catches the outside corner with the slider, counts even. Darren Lugo, junior from Mexico. Tied him up inside, and it's one and two. Lights are on here at the dish. Sun's streaking through the outfield, a little bit of the infield. It's just after 8 o'clock, sunset tonight. Right side, back out of play. Right field. 
When the sun's out here in the first few innings, difficult position to play. The one two. This ball hit pretty well to left, but Porter Brown with that breeze had a beat on it, puts it away. That ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. 33 games under their belt. 23 left in the regular season. So the things that you start looking at is what is that number of total wins? Becomes important. First pitch in there for a strike from Bush. The 0 1. Battle back. Thomas quickly down on the count. No balls and two strikes. Sophomore from Waltzahatchee. 6 2, 190. 54 hits on the year. 21 extra base hits. It's a nice play, Cam Constantine. Good job snatch it. With quick hands. Got caught in between. Ball almost got by him. See right here, ball plays it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got you got to give a step. Got it. Good play. The 0-2 again. Outside corner, strike three call. Thomas didn't think it was a strike. He's headed back to the dugout. Still looking back. Take a look at it right here. I don't think it could have gone two ways, either out or up. Or maybe both. Or maybe both. <laughs> Powell will step in. Senior from Robinson, Longhorn third baseman. He's in some tough luck lately. He needs to start getting it going again. A magnificent first half of the year. Good Robinson. We're going to get a note to the principal here. Longhorn dugout not happy with the calls. So Matthew Martinez writes a little note. I always want to know who that goes to. Is the principal in town? <laughs> or do you have to email it? Text it. Not sure. Bush ready to go now. Break the ball. Catches the outer half. The count evens at one and one. 314. Six homers. He's driven in 31. Back out of play. And it's one and two. You know when you're in a little struggle too, you find you look up and you find yourself one, two, oh two all the time. And then you, when you get to those counts, now you have to protect. Chase, start chasing out of the zone. Try to go back up there. Well, it just makes you overly aggressive. I mean, you don't want to get yeah. to that count, and then you end up at that count. On the left field line, onto the concourse. Souvenir, nice play on one hop. Count two and two. Tenth pitch from Bush. Right back at him. Has it. Underhands at the first. Two gone here. As Jalen Flores will come to the plate. Sophomore from San Antonio. And Craig, just listen to some of these numbers. 50 hits on the year. 27 extra base hits, so more than half of his hits for extra bases. He's driven in 33, slugging percentage of 774, on base percentage of 445. Uh, it's just, it's it's a big league year, <laughs> and he leads the team in runs scored with 38. He's reached base 14 straight. Got 
hit in that hand yesterday. That ball was close back inside. 1220 OPS for Jalen Flores. Talk about OPS, extra base hits. Half his hits, like you said, have been extra base hits. Fouled off right side. Last night, down at San Marcos, the Bobcats employed a shift on him every time. And he just looked, came to the plate and hit two ground balls right to the second baseman and got two hits. That's what you, you do to make them stop shifting. No shift tonight. A little bit shortstop the other way. But what a catch. Oh, my word. What a great effort. And comes up with it, does Ferris. What a play. Ethan Ferris and right. To the Longhorns, who are playing really good softball right now. First pitch upstairs. Rashawn Galloway will step in. Catcher. Sophomore from Bernie. Upstairs. Hitters count now 2 0. The 2 0 delivery. Way inside. It's 3 0. First couple hitters tell the one flew over Pena's head in the zone. Since then, just struggling to get it down in the zone. Got that That's call right there. Yeah, right at the top of the zone as well. Zeke, when the wind's blowing behind you like this, I mean, it, it, obviously you'd rather pitch with it behind you than blowing in your face, but you know, Tumas is, is, is a tall man. Can that be a little problem? This ball hit pretty well to center. Gasparino there to put it away for the first out. Can you lose it, balance? Is that, you, I you, always can't, think you really can, yeah. I mean, I'm not the skinniest of people. So sometimes when, it, when the wind would blow, it, it would. It kind of shakes you around. So not so much from the windup, but with runners on from the stretch, you really have to focus on, on your lower body and, and keeping it grounded so you don't wiggle because it could be a ball. What a play this man made to end the top of the first. Ferris steps in. First pitch misses outside. Freshman right-handed hitter from Cypress, Texas. For a strike in the count evens. I like how it says Cypress, but there's about 15 high schools in Cypress. There is yeah. a few. A lot. And there's, there's more going up. Did he go? Did not. This is Jerry Johnson at first base. This what's the barrel. I don't think he went. I concur. So the 2 1. Did on this one. It's a fair ball down the left field line. Ferris into second base with a stand up double. First hit of the game by either team. Punch the square. When you get to second base. Fourth double of the season for Ferris right down the line. Peyton, not too far off the line of this one. Right over the base, Doug Williams says fair ball. Easy double, number four on the year. Trina will step in, out. Step in from the left side. Throw back to second and safely. Senior, Sioux City, Iowa. Steps in to the set. A couple of checks of the runner. Delivers. Gets in there for a strike. This ball runs away. Count evens.
the one one. Stiff throw back to second. That's the flash play. Force will throw his glove out. Pitcher's looking at him when he sees that glove come out. He just reverse pivot. You see where Jalen is behind the runner. When you see daylight or see that glove come out, that's when the pitcher turns and throws. There's also a timing play that the pitcher does not have to be looking at second. And who did the catcher dictate that? On team, some teams I played on, the pitcher would see the catcher drop his glove. And when he did, he would turn and pivot. Well, you don't even have to come set. To upstairs. Count evens it two and two. I think throwing once and twice, keeping a running close, but sometimes those throws get thrown away, cost you extra bases. This is cute off the end of the bat. Gonna be a tough play for Flores. He's up with it. Throw to first. Really nice play to get it out right there. Ferris moves up to third. Check that baseball. Cued it right off the end. But off the mound has some spin on it. Good exchange right there from Flores. From glove to hand. Couldn't have hesitated much longer. Really came and got that one. Chase Mora will step in. Second baseman for the Bobcats. Skies this ball in the infield. Not a gimme today. Flores calls it, puts it away, ends the. As Max Ballou will step in. Cameron Bush. Out for his second inning of work. First pitch swing, fouls it back. Max Ballou. Numbers are impressive. 345 as he steps in for the sophomore from Alito. 38 hits on the year, 11 homers. He's driven in 29. Chopped on the ground, foul. He got off to a slow start. Took him about 10 or so at bats to get that first knock. Since then, he hadn't looked back. Third behind his teammate who's leading the Big 12 in home runs. This wind is built for a left handed hitter tonight. That's the direction it'll go is to ride if you can get it. Try to check his swing, fouled off. The 0 2 sky in the infield. He's going to call for it. Lugo has to come over. That, it's not easy. I, I, I'm chuckling because just watching batting practice and watching pitchers who are usually really good fielders in the outfielder and VP, they were struggling to catch the ball. You notice right there, never took his eye off the ball. Either one of them. If you can't. Not in this breeze. Well, Schusler will step in. One catcher. From Milano. It's the junior. Off of the fist, humpback liner. Got, can't play it. It's going to be an infield knock. I, that's just. Don't make baladas anymore, but that had a little balada bite on it. It did. Soft core. Gasparino will step in. Will. Freshman from Los Angeles. Longhorn center fielder. Schusler's at first base. And you'll take that knock as a hitter. As a pitcher, you made a great pitch, but. Yeah, the ball went about 100 feet. This is outside count evens at one and one.
the one one. Ball in the dirt. There goes Schusler to second. Gets there. As Mora tried to catch and tag at the same time on the ball that was scooted to him. Nice job by Kimball of, of anticipation right here. Yeah. Anticipate that ball in the dirt. Took off the ball. Yeah. Called moved out there on Mora. He just skipped on him, stayed down. The 2 1. Lined right at the shortstop. Puts it away. That is a bullet. Put away. And Ty Harrington, the guy standing on the right, right there. Played here with you. Yep. Roommates. Me and Coach Harrington right there. Yeah, he. Um, he says he has a bad back right now, but he never sits down. He never sits down. He's, he's in coach mode right now as he's doing radio with Craig Way. So Porter Brown steps in. He separated the game last night early. Three run homer to give the Longhorns the lead. The senior from San Antonio. Breaking ball catches the outside corner. It's quickly. 0 2. 25th pitch coming. We're going to hold a one last night off the batter's eye in San Marcos. Just missed the outside corner. And it's 1 and 2. That just missed. See the numbers on the year for the senior. Did he check his swing. He did. The count evens. Two balls and two strikes, two outs, and a runner at second base. Swing and a miss. Got him. Second strikeout for Bush. Texas gets a runner in scoring position. As Gonzalez will step in to his first pitch in there for a strike. Louisiana out of the Sun Belt Conference, same conference as Texas State. Senior from Argyle. Didn't counting. This is outside. Count even. To his third inning of work, first career start. Shielded one base hit and a one out double. To center, but playable. Gasparino puts it away for the first out here in the third. Back to the top of the order. Next inning, we'll visit with Stephen Trout. Coach of the Bobcats. Wow, will step in. Thrown out, trying to bunt his way on the first time up. Stairs for ball one. Last five game week of the year for the Longhorns and for the Bobcats where they play two midweek games. It's in there for a strike. Getting down to the end of the stretch of our cats. Part of the schedule too. Yeah. This one and then three in Houston and no more cats. No. Cats will be over. After that, it'll be Jayhawks and Cowboys, Sooners, 
Central Florida Knights. I think they're the Knights. You were stumped right there. You had to hesitate. You had to slow down. I'm usually pretty good at that. But I would I think they are the Knights. Vaqueros are coming in. UTRGB. Oh, yeah. Chopped on the ground. Stays down. Thomas having to hustle to the back. Has it for the second out of the inning. It took a little bit of an odd hop on JT. Southwest Texas. They, they um, I'm pretty sure they sported those last weekend on Sunday. They wore the old throwbacks, the Southwest Texas it's throwbacks. WT. Is that the ones y'all wore? That's the ones we had. Ramirez will step in. Inside for ball one. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Grounded first, his first time up. Easton Tumas. So far, you got to say, so far, so good. Oh, yeah. Throwing the ball well. Has all season in the relief role. Throwing the ball well in his first college start. You can see that jersey and everything. It's wind is just whipping, whipping out on the field. 39th pitch. Tumas. Top of the zone for a strike. That's two and one. Twenty five. Twenty to tw fifteen to twenties. More like 25 to 30 to me. Well, gust at 30. Yeah. That's when you want to hit one when the gusts come up. Count evens at two and two. Ramirez steps back in. That ball's thrown behind him. It didn't hit him. I don't know how it missed him. A lot of times breaking balls will hit the turf and bounce. The opposite direction. That one hit and just kept going straight. You watch it. Look at his feet. Whoop. Right behind him. Never moved either. So full count. The payoff pitch. Out to right. Blue coming on quickly. Lays out and makes the pet catch. So Max Ballou takes that dugout and visit with their fifth year head coach, Stephen Trout. As Skipper, one of the first things that jumps off the page for me is it, it, you had to finish. Y'all made that decision last night. You came up. Did it change any way you went about preparing or your kids preparing for the second ball game tonight? You know, not a ton. We knew that was a possibility with the with the weather coming in. We just didn't want to end a game in a in a tie or something. So, yeah, you show up today and, and uh, have a quick memory after the, the first game got over with and uh, almost treat it like a doubleheader. So to us, it was a moment on back in our side and and uh, let's go get the second game today hey, you look great by the way i appreciate it i appreciate it. credit <laughs> goes to my wife always <laughs> hey oh I, I forgot my question no, here we go uh, the, the rivalry man that this has become uh, quite a spectacle you guys travel well down here yeah it's, it's been you know a fun series the last few years and, and a great battle and uh obviously a great program we come up the road and, and a lot of people travel up so great ball games it looks like we're in for another good one tonight and uh yeah hopefully we can find a way to come out on top hey thanks for visiting with good luck to you and your team the rest of the year awesome thanks guys steven trout head coach as rylan galvan will step in it'll be Eight, nine, and one here, bottom of the third inning. Five years already he's been fifth year as a head coach. Sophomore from Sinton steps in. Bush's first pitch in their first strike. Cameron Bush, the right hander from Round Rock, is matching Tumas pitch for pitch right now. Three innings. His high of Pitching this year, done that twice, filling it up, just giving up the one hit, the single to Schuessler, which was a jam shot that didn't get out of the infield. Hadn't had a three ball count, six of eight on first pitch strikes. The 0 2 downstairs. to the Galvan. Foul back. So 
So one and two. The former Round Rock Dragon. The one two. Good breaking ball for the strikeout. Third for Bush on the day. Just look at these recent years. I'll tell you what, this this program, Bobcats are going in the right direction. Yeah, they are. A couple Sun Belt regular season titles, 47 wins, and they were what one out away. And the, if they had won that regional against Stanford, they would they would end up hosting. The way things turned out, they'd end up hosting a super that year. Beating some top 25 teams as well. First pitch to D. Kennedy. Misses upstairs for ball one. Freshman from Fort Worth. Preston Wood Christian Academy. We're in second baseman. Moved into this everyday job. 17 hits on the year. He's hit two homers. He's driven in 10. The 1 1. On the ground, right side. Into the shift. One out single and back to the top of the order. And what D. Kennedy, anything he does at the plate is going to be extra. I think D. Kennedy is in that lineup for defense. He has good range in the field and coming around. This, sometimes it can take you as a freshman, it might take you a little bit to, to get the bat going. Good speed gets a knock right there. Back to the top of the order. JT was a strikeout victim, called out on strikes his first time up. So second time through the order. Now for the horns. Kennedy with good speed, a threat to go at any time. Bush thinks he might be going. Throws over. Only one for one, but he's a guy that can run and wants to run. Into right field for a base hit. So a nice job by JT. He hits. He hit them right there when they're holding the runner on first base. Snuck that one by the infield. Patino down there. 55th base hit of the year. Peyton Powell will step in. First real threat of the game right now. Couple on for Texas and one out. This was three for ten. The first ball game of this two game set. I feel will come together here. Jared Massengill. As Powell steps in. Foul tip into the glove. Galloway. Peyton looking to get it back on track. He's getting his hits, just not. We were so used to Peyton for a while getting two, three, four yeah. a game. Oh, this is back off of. Can he get an out? He can, and I'm telling that hurt. Yes. How about the awareness, though, from Bush to get an out? I don't think that could be it. He's yeah, just the it's a reaction again, right at him, right off his hand. See. Tough to make the throw. Almost goes down after he made the throw, and now he just. He says he's driven in 14, scored 16. It's a good month for a lot of people. Got a hanger, just missed it. It's not where you want to keep that breaking ball right there. Steps back in. To right, playable. Ferris puts it away. That ends the threat for Texas here in the third. Third of the game. Please. Wow. We have a guy that we, Texas, uh, had three home runs in a game and a grand slam. Same game. It's a pretty good ball game. Swing and a miss from Pena. Walked his first time up. 
difficult to shoot one out of here to left tonight. I can tell you that. As he steps in. Tumas catches the top of the zone and it's quickly. 0 2. Martinez has the high strike. Nat Martinez does have that high strike. Been consistent with it. Breaking ball got him. First strikeout for Tumas. As he pitches into the fourth. It's got to be approaching his career high in, in a ball game. Look at times where it is going to be a, a quick turnaround. 45 pitches now for Easton. He got him to 45. He's only given up the one hit. Pitching really well. Just keep him in there. I think you got to ride. Chopped in the ground foul. You got to ride a hot hand, don't you? I would think so. Nobody throwing from Texas in the bullpen. Nobody even up. Just watching the ball game now. Down 0 1. Here's the bat back. Count evens at 1 and 1. Slider way outside. Texas right hander looks in. Upstairs. Hitters count now three and one. Strike. The count goes full. 50 pitches now. Tumas. Right side, back out of play. Been a cool customer. Tuma says he's, he's kept his pace. Second walk he's issued. Yeah, for the most part, and getting the ball over the plate. Second walk of the game. But the moment, the starting moment, didn't bother him in this game. He's been in big games all season, getting big outs. We will step in. Can't catch her. Throw over. Actually hits. Lugo, if it hadn't, it gets by Thomas. That ball gets down into the corner. Throws in the turf. Right off the backside. That's a break. Well, easily could have gotten. Giving up a base. Outside for ball one. Texas does have a couple arms throwing out. Lefty, righty. Luke Harrison. The lefty. The 1 0. Inside. All of a sudden. Consistency that Tumas had in the first three innings has gotten away from him here. 
the fifth pitch coming up. The 2 0. Snap throw to first. Pitch must have been outside. Never saw a plate umpire make a move, so assuming it was a ball. So it's 3 0. Inside, four pitch walk, back to back walks. Here in the fourth for the Bobcats. That's a lot of times is a sign to your pitching coach or head coach. Pull down the left hand line, first time up. You got an opportunity if you can get that slider, you get your double play here and get out of the inning. First pitch slider just misses. One and oh. Dangerous moment in the game. Nothing, nothing ball game. Top of the fourth. That slider in there for a strike. Count evens at one and one. I don't change anything. Go right back to it. Fastball been erratic this inning. Slider's been able to get it over for strikes. Slider again. Got away with one that might have hung a little bit. It did. And if you can, if you can hit one to the left field, I'll tip my hat to you. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take. It's going to take a mighty blow. I know. Ethan Ferris, a big man in that box. Took a big cut at that one. The one-two. Almost hit him with a breaking ball. Might have tried to overthrow that one. Evens at two and two. And sometimes you can give a little too much attention. You can see Lugo out there at second, kind of jockeying around. You make your pitch, you don't have to worry about that guy at second base. Upstairs. Count goes full. I'm going to ask you if you're running the show, you putting your runners in motion here? I do not. I'm not going to do it. With a swing in that slider. I think that was a good one right here. You run yourself out of an inning. Throws back to second. Three straight, three ball counts. The first two led to walks. I'm just saying, if, if they do take off and you get a strikeout, I'd go to second base. Maybe. Not running. Breaking ball. Hit on the ground to left field. They're going to hold the runner at third. Porter Brown up with it. Gets it back in quickly. And the Bobcats have them loaded. Loaded. It's Latino. Lefty lefty matchup. Texas at double play depth in the middle. Corners. Third base is up. First pitch slider just misses outside for ball one. I agree with the pitch. You're wanting to get the swing and possibly a ground ball. Taking a chance on throwing the ball. Thomas placed behind the runner at first. The 1-0. Downstairs, and it's 2-0. and Got to throw a strike here. Back into the stands, and it's two and one. Patino doing Harrison a favor right there. Chased ball three. I think it was out of the zone his, too. His eyes got big. He knew something was going to be around the plate. Chased one. Steps back in. Harrison set, ready to go. This is outside. Another excellent hitting count now, three and one. Tino steps back in. The three one. 
slider. Swing and a miss. Count goes full. Well, if you're thinking, I mean, if you're out of the zone, he takes it. He walks, you walk a run in. He swung at it. I'd say you go right back to it. The 3 2. Slider misses outside. Ball four. The Bobcats get on the board. Third walk of the inning by Texas pitching. Ora steps in. Longhorn still a double play depth. Harrison stays in the game. Ora from the right side. Way outside for ball one. If you get in your head too. You struggle to get strike one. You just walk. The guy with it, it can become a mental game. The 1 0 downstairs. 2 0 now. All of a sudden, as a hitter, you can look for one type of pitch in one spot. Harrison set. Kimball Schusel calling timeout. Pitch clock was at three. One of those opportunities a game. Set in there for a strike, and it's two and one. Laura steps back in. Harrison had to do that because they've already had one timeout called in the at bat. Clock the next pitch again. Went, yeah, it was, it was too close. The two one. Just around the plate with a breaking ball and it's three and one. Harrison set. Pitch clock is getting down. It is at five right now. Now comes set. 3 1 delivery. Off of the fist. Hump back into center. It's down for one run will score. The second run headed to the plate. Here comes the throw to the plate. Offline. 3 0 Bobcats. State. Gonzalez will step in. Fly to center his first time up. Horns will be a double play depth in the NFL. Still one out in the inning. Three runs across here. Side step, throw back to second. Tino back in safely. Pretty well to right with some carry in this breeze. Hit balls out of here. Three run homer. Six nothing Bobcats. Talked about riding that breeze, Zeke. Yeah, you could see Baloo. Going back and it just kept going. Just kept going. First of the season for Alex Gonzalez came in hitting 095. Got that one up in the breeze though. That's a six spot for Texas State. Breaking ball that stayed up. 
Still just one out in the inning. Bobcats have plated six here. Wow will step in 0 for 2. Off left side back out of play. Fourth home run given up by Selvig in seven and two thirds innings. One and one to Wild. Couldn't check his swing, which was a strike. One and two. Off of the fists, back to the mound for the second out of the inning. Just this breaking ball, when you start a guy up with a breaking ball, you just see it sort of stays up and right out over the plate. And just rolls up there. We call that a cement mixer. Just kind of just kind of rolls up there, but Baloo was on it for the last 30 or so feet, but it just kept carrying. The ninth batter of the inning is. August Ramirez, the DH. He is 0 for 2 as he steps in. Steers for ball one. Let's see the numbers on the year for the DH. Steers, good hitters count, 2 and 0. Hard to pitch, 2 and 0 and 3 and 1. Challenged him, got away with it. It's two and one. That's just it. Two, oh, three, one. You have to challenge hitters. 99% of the time, no fastballs coming. This ball ripped off the glove of Kennedy. Blue has to change directions. I think they'll try to run on Max Blue. The Bobcats have battered around now. That ball hit hard. By Ramirez. Kennedy trying to pick it down there. Fourth hit of the inning. I like how Kennedy tried to get his eyes down with it. Because if you can get it your eyes down, you got a better chance to read it. Still just couldn't pick it on the short hop. As Pena will step in. So I started this inning with a strikeout. Dalen walked his first time up. Long pause. The 0 1. Count evens. Corner. One and two. Not again. Not again. Break the ball gets away, but not far enough. For advancement. Count evens at two and two. Four hits in the inning, including the three run homer. Three walks in the inning. Tenth batter of the frame for Texas State. This is on the ground. There's underhands to Kennedy. Ends the inning, but not before it went down to throw. It's kind of kind of odd. I mean, I guess he went to throw because when he came in the game, it was from injury. He had plenty of time to warm up. So I guess it was just such a long half inning that he just needed to throw a little bit more. So it'll be four, five, six due for Texas trying to climb out of it. A 28 minute, minute half inning for the Bobcats at the plate as Blue will step in 0 for 1. First pitch in there for a strike. Slider catches the outer half and it's quickly 0 2 to Blue.
This one off of the pitcher. Second one today that a Longhorn has hit one off the pitcher. This time it goes for a base hit. Let's we'll see if C is okay. As Peyton Powell hit one off of Cameron Bush, knocked him out of the game. This might have caught C in the got lower it. extremity. I think he got his glove right there. He pounced on it in a hurry, but it just got a little too far behind him. So he lift the leg up, he gets a heel. Check the ball. So a leadoff base runner for Texas. Schusler will step in. Infield single, his first time up. Outside for ball one. Gets a double play depth in the infield. Straight away. Fairly deep in the outfield. Pitch in there for a strike and the count evens. Do we have activity in both bullpens right now? Matthew Tippy for Texas State. Way outside. So nice play by Gallo to snag that ball that time. So two and one to Schusler as he steps back in. Went around on a breaking ball. Count evens at two and two. He comes set. This ball on the ground. Off of the glove of Mora. He's trying to get himself in position to go to second base. Just didn't secure the baseball. Works with a couple on here with nobody out. See how they call that. Base hit for Schusler. Mora. Look like he over over judged it right there. Hit him in the foot under the glove. And in the right field. So two on here for Tech. Gasparino will step in. Lined out his first time up. Slider misses outside for ball one. Both teams now with five hits apiece. Big number, six runs for the Bobcats. Skied in the infield. This will be the infield fly rule. It is a collision. Ball is caught. The batter was out no matter what. One gone for Porter Brown as he comes to the plate. Chases the, needs to take advantage of this inning. Get the first two on chasing six. You got to one, two. Get some momentum. Try to, try to get an extra base hit here. Porter Brown, a big home run last night down in San Marcos. Breaking ball catches the outer half for strike one. C comes set. This ball hit pretty well to left. Wrong day. Tagging is Blue. Moves up to third, tagging and moving to second is Schuster. But I tell you, this breeze is just not near as strong as it was almost 10 minutes ago, but still enough breeze to keep that ball in the ballpark. That ball hit really well by Porter. Just on the warning track. I said the flag not moving so much. Wow, 
Island Galvan will step in strikeout victim his first time up. Runners at second and third for Texas. Breaking ball in there for strike one. Back with a fastball. Just like that. It's 0 2. 93. From C. Ron steps back in. Slider misses outside. One and two now. Right hander set. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. And that ends the inning. And the threat for Texas. Just two thirds of an inning. Texas now on their third pitcher. Lugo will step in. He has walked and scored and lined out. First pitch from Hamilton popped up. Going to be a tough play. Kimball Schusler can't find it, but it's going to make its way into the stands. Look out. Souvenir. Doesn't have to move. I think that landed in his lap. The 0 1 on the ground. Flores on the run, flips across the diamond in time. Nice play. Jalen Flores for the first out here in the fifth. Just enough on the baseball. Came and got it in a little flip, quick flip to first. We'll visit with head coach David Pierce. Bottom of the fifth inning. Galloway will step in. Side for ball one. Hitters count now two and oh. Our next broadcast here on LHN next Tuesday night if, as the Vaqueros. TRGV come to town. With some carry into right. Gasparino with a nice jump. Runs it down for the second out of the inning. So two quick outs here in the fifth for Texas State. Trying to get on top of that one. When I'm got to hit it well. Gasparino with a good jump. Two quick outs here for Hudson. Ferris has had a good ball game. He has single, double, made a fantastic catch in right field. As he steps in here, freshman. Bobcat right fielder. The 1 0. Both these teams, Zeke moved back into conference play. Longhorns travel to Houston and take on the Cougars this weekend. Slider catches the zone, 1 and 2. Texas State will go to Monroe. ULM. Well, 
Boy, a lot of rain in Louisiana. Yesterday, last night, and today. This ball chopped on the ground. Floor is coming quickly. Gets rid of it. And a 1 2 3 inning for Hudson Hannibal in Texas. David Pierce, Skipper, one of the things you got to do is find a way to just get some offense, sort of get one scratch to cough to get going here. No doubt. I mean, we got a couple on right there, and we got to avoid the strikeout and put the ball in play and put a little pressure on them. I thought Porter had a good swing, um, but like I said, we just got to put a little pressure on them. Coach, I'm going to go big picture. I mean, you got six teams in the conference right now within a game and a half. You guys got a big weekend in Houston coming up. No doubt. I mean, and it's quick turnaround. We've traveled them all, practice, and then, uh, you know, we like this double midweek, but at the same time, it puts a little pressure on us. But it's what it is. We need to play. We need to have guys get out there and log some innings and get better. Thanks for taking the time. Good luck the rest of the ball. All game. right. Thanks. We go to the home half of the fifth. It will be 9 1 2 due for Texas here. Against the new right hander into the game for the Bobcats. Matthew Tippy, his 14th appearance on the year. A man from Wimberley, Texas. 17 and two thirds innings, only 12 hits, but 11 walks in those seven and two, 17 and two thirds. So can throw the ball around. Texas got to be patient. Base runners looking for base runners. Kennedy will step in. Singled his first time up. Breaking ball misses downstairs. Count evens. Second time he's almost fell to the ground on his. Lead foot. You guys, pitchers, always blame the dirt. What's the dirt? The ball, the wind, it's, it's something. Something. It can't, can't be the arm or what's in between the two ears. I got you. Well, this is inside. There, there is. Again, I, Bob Welch dug a 12 inch hole out a there. crater where, where he would step. So sometimes it can get a little holy out there. The 3 1 to Kennedy. In there for a strike. I've, I've definitely, as a catcher, gone to the mound and seen things that you go, well, how, where, are you, where are you landing? <laughs> how, do you, how, are you, how are you working around this? Fortunately, I didn't have a long stride. Fouled away. And Bob Welch had about a 12 foot stride. So I didn't have to go out that far. That's the first three ball count Texas has seen in this game on offense. Tippy set, shakes, shakes, and shakes. Now ready to go. Break a ball, gets the strikeout. Nice one from Tippy. Jared Thomas will come to the plate. One for two tonight. Steps in. Struck out. Single to right. Standing numbers. The sophomore from Waltzahatchee. Step back in. Outside for ball one. Hitters count now 2 and 0. Oh. Tried to check his swing, pitch called a strike. Tippy Set. The 2 1. Foul tip. Count evens at 2 and 2.
Thomas digs back in. The 2 2. Left side hit pretty well, but fading into the stands. Mentioned it earlier, University of Louisiana out of the Sun Belt into the top 25. Cats. Division of the Sun Belt. That ball hitting. Breaking ball. And on the foot. No one likes to get hit. Breaking ball. Yeah. You take it. Get your base runner. Texas looking for base runners at Louisiana team with the 16 game winning streak. Bulldogs are giving them everything they want. Bottom of the eighth right now, Louisiana Tech 7 2 over Louisiana. Wow. Aiden Powell will step in. Powell hit a rocket this last time up that knocked the pitcher Cameron Bush out of the game. Bush had the Unique presence of mind to taking a blow like that to get an out at first base. That just was amazing to me. He on the top side of his wrist of his throwing hand. The 0 1 to Powell. A foul. Taking down 0 2. Senior from Central Texas will step back in. Side one and two. Thomas leads from first. Toss over. Thomas leading base stealer for Texas, but not in a scenario down six nothing. I think you'll see him off and running here. This ball into right field. Down. This is going to be a double. Trying to stretch it to second is Powell, and he's in safely. Time call, so runners at second and third here. Peter going in hard at second base. Slid over the base, went out and got that one. Hooked it in the right center. Jared had to hold up, see if it was going to be caught. Deep out, watch him slide in and bumps over the knee and the back and everything. A lot going on right there. Nice one out double. Eighth of the season for Pete. That'll bring Jalen Flores to the plate. 0 for 2 in this one, but it's been red hot as of late. Second and third, one out here for Texas in the home half of the fifth. First pitch inside for ball one. Texas out hitting Texas State. 6 5. 0 for 7 though with runners in scoring position tonight are the horns. They would like to change that right here. Yes, they would. Stairs, good hitters count now 2 and 0. Time called. We're going to have a mound visit. Luck. 6 nothing. Lead off two two lead off guys are on hot until the the last <laughs> inning and a half <laughs> till the storms rolled in. Yeah. Way outside that's going to get all the way back to the wall. Here comes Thomas Texas on the board. So much for that good meeting I was talking about. Breaking ball spiked it off into the turf. To the backstop, Texas on the board. 
Yeah, he could have. Galloway just couldn't even get the body over there. Down on him one knee, well, way outside. The 3 0. Swinging on the ground to third. Powell couldn't not make that move and couldn't score. If you're going on contact and a ball's hit to third, it's a tough play. And probably would say, hey, make it clear anywhere but third base. And Powell could not clear. And the ground ball out. Powell has to stay at third. He hesitates right here. Kind of got caught in between. I mean, he's going to be out. But if you have the contact play on, you go right there. And that's going to take a two out base hit. For third. As Ballou will step in. One for two. That's Max Ballou. Drops a breaking ball in there for a strike. Max is thinking cut it in half right here. Put one over the wall. The 0 1. And away. Count evens. To be with 23 pitches in this inning. The 1 1. Upstairs. Hitters count now for Ballou. Tippy breaking ball with steam has been been good, but he's got the sinker. That two seamer runs away from lefties. The two one. And that went away from him right there. I'll stay right there. Talking from a pitcher standpoint. I always think if, if they're gonna hurt you, make them use the big part of the field. Winds blowing in from left. The 2-2 two -two stayed out there and Blue went with it this time. How about down into the corner? Opposite field. RBI double. And it is a 6-2 ball game. What a good adjustment from Max Ballou. It really was. Well, I, I agree with everything right there. Made him, made him go the other way. Didn't get it elevated. Hit a line drive. That ball's off the plate. Ballou gets an RBI on his ninth double of the season. That's an adjusting within the at bat. Yeah, he just that, swung through that impressive. same pitch. Just swung through that same pitch yeah. for two strikes and then went out and got that one. Momentum shifted into the Longhorn dugout now. Schusler will step in. First pitch downstairs for ball one. Triple two for two. Texas is out, hit the Bobcats seven to five. This ball almost back to the screen again. Rashawn Galloway getting his money's worth back there. I betrayal here six two. Schuessler will step back in two for two. Is set. 2 0 delivery in there for a strike. Did you come into many games with a 2 0 count? I can't say I ever did. And never left a game with a 2 0 count. Unless I got hurt or hit. And if I got hit, I don't think it was a 2 0 count. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. Okay. Come in throwing strikes. One break of all, one fastball. Evens the count. The 2 2 to Schusler. Right side. Out of play. And velocity, 93 on the fastball through the slider and at 84. Kimball will step back in. Oh, 
Chop to third on the run. Nice play. Gonzalez to get it out. And Hamilton face the bottom third of the order. Trino will step in. He has walked and scored and grounded to short in his two plate appearances. Downstairs for ball one. Great walk in the fourth game, an RBI. Walked with the bases loaded for that six run fourth inning. Side. 2 0. Twelfth pitch since coming into the game for Hamilton. Left side back out of play. Look at some of the things you're getting to that time of the year, Zeke. And I know you and I look at it now, where you don't look at it really in March, where your teams are still finding who's going to play where, who's going to be on the weekend. But you're starting to see where RPIs become a major factor. Looking at the postseason, we are not that far away at this point. Basically, six conference weekends left. College baseball. Seems like when it gets to this point, it just takes off. Comes up in a hurry. Side and a leadoff walk. With the power conferences, the ACC and the SEC have. They really have RPIs just covered the top 20 RPIs in college baseball. Oregon State out west done well. 1 0 here. East Carolina again. Teams that long one fans will remember. Break the ball in there for a strike, and it's one and one to Mora. His big two run single to center his last time up. ACCS is he had the top six spots in that RPI. Number seven in RPI. UCF. Central Florida. Back and it's one and two. Starting to move their way up the poles. Texas at 56. Duplantier up and throwing in the Texas bullpen. Out right side. Out. Ricochet. Came off in a hurry, didn't it? I'll just look at the midseason projections and the seeding. It's looked at here at the midway point. Be interesting to see if that many teams out of the Big 12 get into the postseason. Well, each week it just starts. Changing yep. by, the, by the second. One and two to Hamilton. I believe that ball might have hit Mora if he doesn't swing it. That's almost self defense. <laughs> he ran a chest. The one two. Keeps battling, fighting them off here. Count remains one and two. She 
Kessler out to talk to the right hander after the leadoff walk. Four straight fouled away. Heck, they swing it with two strikes. He can waste one. We can waste one in the dirt right here. I mean, he's, he's swing happy right now. Throw one out of the zone, see if you can get him to chase. Mora steps back in, ready to go again here. One and two. There you go. You might have pitched before. Sometimes when you're out there, you don't think like that. When you sit in the booth, <laughs> it's a little easier. And it's not, none of the burden is on your shoulders. Oh, yeah, that was a perfect one. You knew, you knew more, four in a row. He was chasing almost, he swung at one, that would have hit him in the chest. So he's ready to swing the bat. Threw one out of the zone and got the out. Gonzalez steps in, he's got the big blow in this ball game. An opposite field, three run homer. His last time up. First pitch in there for a strike on the fastball. Didn't have a ton of at bats coming in. He only has three hits on the season. One of those three run homer. Long pause this time. This ball chopped on the ground. Powell, it's a fair ball. Powell couldn't make the play. There's going to be runners at second and third here. As Powell couldn't come up with it. He thought it was a foul ball. As Doug Williams called the game was 14. So we're we're still in the top of the sixth. I said 10 to 14 and after the first three innings, it was first two pitches. Since then, we've got a revolving door. Wild hits it to left, tagging at third. Porter Brown's throw to the plate is not in time. 7 2 ball game. It's a good throw. Tino comes in to score. In college baseball, you cannot block the plate off. Times when that play right there, if you force that guy to slide as a catcher, you can get an out in our days of playing. They make him go around you, but or run you over. Porter got a couple of steps to throw it right there, but yeah, just runner, ball, everything right at the same, same time. time. That's why, as a pitcher, to play the game, backing up, kept the runner at second base. First pitch misses for ball one. Momentum back in the Bobcat dugout. As they come back to answer here. Pitch misses. 2 0 oh now to Ramirez. Here's count. One for three. On the night is Ramirez. On the ground. Kennedy has it. Fires to Thomas and ends the inning. But the Bob is Amy's oh, nice. oh, ripped right at Lugo, the shortstop. I mean, you can't hit a ball any harder. That's the second time tonight that Gasparino has hit a rocket at Lugo. I, I don't think he had to, to get out of his stance. He just reaches up and snares it. Did not move. Porter Brown steps in, hit a rocket the last time up into the teeth of the breeze. 0 for 2 as he steps in here. Downstairs. Martinez came on. Get the final out in the fifth. His first full inning work. Porter Brown caught that. Gonzalez, the third baseman, way back. Semi shift back. on. Tried to pull the bat back. Still hit the bat. The 1 1. Stairs. Two and one to Porter.
off-speed pitch there. I don't think that was a breaking ball. The count evens at two and two. This looks like a split. It goes straight down with good velocity, 86. The payoff to Porter Brown. Got him. Comes right back with that pitch again. For the strikeout. Looked like the grip he had on it is a slider grip. It goes, it goes straight down. So two gone as Galvan comes to the plate. For two tonight with a couple of K's. Martinez has righted the ship for the Bobcats here. Steers for ball one. See the numbers on the year. Run. It's hard to quick pitch with a pitch clock, but. So Martinez back to the mound, no pitch. So it's one and oh. Balls and no strikes. Two old breaking ball. Kind of had the cutter mm -hmm. look to it. This is wanting to work quickly. Yeah, yeah Long's not the one calling the timeout. It's Matt Martinez because you do have to give him a little second or two for everyone to get set. Stairs. And an eventful at bat. And <laughs> And it's a 3 1 count. Timeout called twice. Take 3 1. In there for a strike. The payoff. Back and we'll do it again. Seems like that his favorite pitch is that breaking ball. I'd seem probably go to it right here. That one stayed up. Three two again. Caught the out. He will face Dalen Pena. Pena, excuse me. Three four five due for the Bobcats. I think Dre will get too extended here. Just five pitches so far. On the ground, Flores has it. Sets his feet. Throw is offline. Did he get back to the bag? Nice play by JT. They're going to review this. They instantly said that they wanted to come up and look at it. As Flores has not made many bad throws all season long, and this one was off to the left as he set his feet. Thomas had to come off the bag to get it. He tries to get back. Did he get it? I think he just got the corner. I think of the bag. he got the corner of the bag. First chance to look at the replay as they talk about it as he goes back. Ooh. Maybe not. This is going to be overturned. 
tried to reach out in one direction. It looked like he caught it. But camera angle. It's very well could be overturned. Does he have a piece of leather hanging from the end of the glove? Maybe the little piece of leather hit it. Just to look at it one more time right here. There is some strings hanging off of that, but he reaches back right here. Touched it right there. Not sure. It's like there's some space in between them. Did he catch the corner right there? Great camera work by our guys, as always. I believe he's on the bag right there. You can see it here in the ballpark as Thomas comes away from the bag and then comes back with his right arm trying to reach back to the bag. Just couldn't tell if it caught the corner. One shows right there. Comes out. Zeke, you're right. That, that little part, we just saw that second part at the end. Just the tip of the glove hit the corner of the base. It happened quick. So one out here in the top of the seventh. And you retired 6-3. Lugo will come to the plate. 0 for 2. He's walked and scored. Downstairs for ball one. It's in there for a strike and the count evens at one and one. Heights working in the Texas bullpen right now. Charlie Hurley and David Shaw left and ready. The one two. Got him swinging. Chase the breaking ball outside the zone. Chase the breaking ball with it. That pitch has a really quick bite on from Dre. So two gone in the inning. Galloway's he steps in. He's walked and scored. 0 for two on the night. Side for ball one. Good location there. Count evens at one and one. Side. Sometimes when you come to the plate, get ready to hit any way you can. Sometimes you come with work gloves to hit in. Okay. The, the heck with batting gloves. You know who would do that in fall ball? We're gonna have him in the in the booth next home stand. I can't imagine who that is. I think it's DC. <laughs> Cookie, that is Cook. That is Cook. Good. Wonderful personality. Well, we covered Sam Houston a couple years ago where they all started doing it. Yeah. Most of them anyway. We'll see them in a couple weeks. Maybe see ask see if they're still doing it. Feels good. It fits. 
Some of that stick them on them. Inside corner strike three call back to back strikeouts one two three for the Bobcats here in the seventh seventh inning stretch time on Wednesday night bottom of the seventh nine one two due for Texas here. Wide yeah. out to right. Ferris puts it away for the first out of the inning. So one gone. JT coming to the plate. Thomas has been hit by a pitch and scored single and struck out one for two as he steps in. Martinez first pitch in there for a high strike. 20th pitch coming. Jonathan Martinez. Well, I think Matthew Martinez I mean, hasn't expanded the zone too much out in and out but he's he's kept consistency with the strike up. Well. One of the so things that they're going to call a ball because it's the third time that Martinez, the home plate umpire, Matthew Martinez, has stopped Jonathan Martinez from pitching. And with the rule that's in place now that we've just been notified about. As a matter of fact, I didn't know anything about it. When the hitter is not looking forward or not set, uh, you can't come forward to the plate as a pitcher. And that's the third warning. And on the third warning, he called a, a ball. Pitcher has to give the hitter time to look out at the pitcher. Okay. I always felt like when I got in the box, I better be ready to look for the pitcher because the pitcher might be coming. Well, you used to be able to do that. Now you have to make eye contact. Kitty cat, Jim Cott. Would be. Already come have it, the plug ball will be halfway to the plate when that right foot hits the ground when you, you step in the box. Stairs and it's three and one to Thomas. This ball hit well to right with some carry. Get out of town. Third in two nights, tenth of the year for JT. Continues to be JT right there. Got a couple last night. Another one here tonight, 367 feet. Texas now seventh in Division One, with 66 on a pace to get over 100. Seven three ball game. Texas crawling back in it here in the bottom of the seventh as Peyton Powell will step in. Thomas now two for three on the night for JT. Tenth homer of the year. Third in the last two ball games. Ball back and it's quickly 0 2 to Peyton Powell. And for Peyton, it seems like every time up now you look up when Powell's at the plate, he's 0 2. It does. Yeah, Porter Brown, same way. Pitches inside with the fastball there. Powell will step back in. Good swing fouls this ball straight back. Nobody throwing in the Bobcat bullpen at this moment. Change up. Got him back. Foul it off. Yeah. 
30th pitch for Jonathan Martinez since coming into the game. Peyton in full fledged swing mode right now. Uh, he, he don't know how to zone two arms in it. When he gets it in his mind, he's swinging. He's fouling him off. But you get that good at bat. The one two again. Off the plate away. Callaway wanted that. Seems to be upset about that call. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming. This ball rifled to right. Powell. Second hit of the night, but how about this swing from JT right here? Oh, he said he got a breaking ball. It was. Neville was off the plate in. Dropped the hands, kept it fair. 367 feet. Visit. Bobcats a double play depth in the infield, deep and straight away in the outfield. First pitch. Fastball misses inside for ball one. Last night, we were playing floors in a shift. He kept hitting the ball to right field and getting base hits. This tonight, playing him straight up. This is outside. Hitters count now 2 0. Oh. Lefty. Joining the righty in the oh, no, it's two right handers in the bullpen for the Bobcats. Two O Bender in there for a strike. It's two and one to Flores. Alan Graham has now joined Diaz in the Bobcat bullpen. Did not go. So hitters count now three and one. Max Ballou awaits on deck. Martinez set. Off of the fist foul. Count goes full. Might have been ball four there. He's got run. He's got run on his fastball. Really likes his, his slider. Wait, the fastball's got 93 94. The payoff to Flores. Right side, back out of play. 39th pitch out of the bullpen for Martinez here. Throw over. Powell back in safely. I don't think down four here. Powell won't be running. The three two. Flashed right side. We'll do it again. Good fastball there. The three two again. On the ground is short. Could be two for one to relay to first. Dug out on the other end. A nice play at first base. Tino doesn't. Nut. First pitch. Stairs for ball one. You got to love it when the catcher on the way to throw the ball back just goes. <laughs> that was a good pitch. Yeah. He just goes, well, why wouldn't that a strike? 
regardless of what the umpire strike zone of this their strike zone but as a catcher you sort of have an idea what the zone is yourself this ball chopped on the right side Hurley has it underhands to Thomas one three if you're scoring I am and that's what I put down that um that's the sinker right there so <laughs> that, one, that one got in on him we got the bad boy. look at me doing the job right there happy about it High fives all around. Oh, and a gritty on the end. Tino will step in. What a play he made. Scoop that throw at first base. He has walked twice, scored both times, and grounded to short. I mean, if you can throw a sinker from 6'8, how about the tilt that has to be on that? Okay, you're 6'8. Your arm's going to go up to about 8'8, eight, eight, right? So yeah. it's coming straight down, and you're 15 inches. With the mound, yeah, it's coming straight downhill. Hard not to pound it into the ground. Exactly. Missed with the first two. It's two and zero now. Three balls and no strikes. And a four pitch walk third walk of the night. Trino. Down to first base as Chase Mora will come to the plate. Mora got a big blow in this ball game. Two runs single to center. He's one for three with a couple of ribbies and a run score. Longhorns a double play depth in the infield. As Mora steps in. Slider in there for a strike. Outside, count evens. The one one tomorrow. There goes the runner. A little hit and run. Ball fouled off a of Schusler. Your body gets so unprotected when you're coming up to throw as an ex catcher, and that guy fouls it off. It's going to get you. There's no way for it not. It's just, you can't avoid it. Tenth pitch of the inning from Hurley. One and two now tomorrow. I believe he went. Yes, he did for the strikeout. So Gonzalez comes to the plate. He's been the man of the match for the Bobcats. Inserted into the lineup when Powell was unable to go at short. Lugo has been playing third most of the year, and Powell at short. But Gonzalez moved in, three run homer. In the fourth inning. So a double to go with it. This is what happened in the fourth inning on a breaking ball that didn't quite bend. Riding the breeze. Out of here to right field. Opposite field. Three run shot. It's the difference in the ball game right now. Side. Count evens. Early checks the runner at first. Throws over. If you look and see he's two steps in the bag, why do you throw? Come on, you guys. You guys get on the mound that 12 inches something happens you you lose some oxygen up there it does and you're six eight no I'm not picking on Charlie right there yeah I mean 
at that point, I think he went a little too fast. You're, you're, but he looked. You're, you're getting the sign. You're getting the sign to throw over. You just have to wait a second. Let him get a couple more steps. I got you. Well, he was just looking at the guy. The guy was two foot away. And throws over anyway. Two and one. Slotted catches the corner. And the count evens. The 2 2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. You know, having fun at the ball ballpark. Nice inning ending double play by Texas State. Blue will step in. He's two for three on the night. Average up to 354 on the year. 40th hit of the year for Blue. 11 homers. He's driven in 30. That's the sophomore from Alito as he steps in from the left side. Couldn't tell that off the mid or a foul tip. No call. I think it's 2 and 0. Oh. Martinez puts up the two fingers. Pitch in there for a strike, and it's two and one. Ballou, Schusler, Gasparino due for Texas here. Chasing four to tie. Upstairs. Six five right hander. Behind in the count now, three and one. And a leadoff walk. What do you do when you come out of the bullpen? Two strikes. That's just the first walk of the night. You are correct, sir. Against that uh, hit by pitch from Thomas in the fifth. That first base on ball. Well, Schusler will step in two infield singles. Two for three as he steps in. Upstairs. Mora will come in from second base, have a conversation here. Settle down the big right hander. Graham. Fort Worth native transferred in from North Central Texas College. Bullpen is active for the Bobcats. Peyton Zabel, Sam Hall. So Texas State has no more visits to the mound. And from this point on, that's the sixth between visits from coaches and visit from the catcher. So because of that, every time anybody goes to the mound, you got to remove the pitcher. You also have to have someone on that in their dugout. <laughs> no. Sometimes you don't. Martinez looked in the dugout and told him, you got no more. Zero. It's 2-0 and oh now. So Schuster, you got to take a strike here, don't you? Let's see what happens. Guy struggling with those strikes. Yeah. Pitch in there for a strike. Schusler steps back in. Bobcats a double played up in the infield. Skied right side. Tino has a beat on it. Puts it away for a big out for the Bobcats. Get that first one. Of the inning here in the eighth. As Gasparino comes to the plate, he is lined out twice. He's hit two rockets right at Lugo at short. If he hits one in the same spot right here, Lugo's moved over towards second base, so he won't catch this. It's popped out, breaking ball in there for a strike. It's 0 for 3. For the freshman from Los Angeles as he steps back in. Foul 
Fouls it back. And it's 0-2. So 0 2. Graham set. Fastball way upstairs. Fish not biting. That's one and two. Ground ball. Diving to his left, gets the stop, goes to second to get one. Not going to be able to turn the double play. But a really nice play by Gonzalez. What a ball game that Gonzalez has had offensively and defensively. Nice play there to his left. Well, saved the base hit. Saved runners on first and second, diving to his left. And from one knee, threw a perfect throw to Moore over the second base. A nice play. Porter Brown will step in. Porter 0 for 3 as he steps in. Outside for ball one. Graham set. One oh breaking ball in there for a strike. Seven six and oh. For the Bobcats three nine and oh for Texas. Yeah. Been able to string any of them together. That's a fair ball. You know, steps on the bag and ends the threat in the eight. A six spot in the fourth inning. If you're just tuning in the difference in this ball game. As the Bobcats sent 10 batters to the plate, plated six of those 10. First pitch from Hurley in there for a strike. Well, Texas lefty righty in the pen. I just believe that's because the where we are in the game, and just getting all some throwing in before the weekend. Slider downstairs. Count evens at one and one. Wow, Ramirez and Pena do here in the top of the ninth. Chopped on the ground. Thomas has it. Underhands to Hurley. 3 1 on the put out. It's been a really unusual time for Texas State in the sense that. They have dropped some games to Texas at home, but boy, they come to the dish. They have found a way to put runs on the board. Yeah. I've done that last three, 22 runs, last three games here. Got it, got it. Something about Texas goes down there and wins in San Marcos, and then Bob Bobcats come right up here and return the favor. This ball skied to left. Porter Brown has a beat on it, puts it away for the second out of the inning. Two quick outs here in the night for the Bobcats. Pena will come to the plate. 0 for 3 tonight. Walked his first time up. Struck out. Grounded out twice. So Hurley comes set. A quick peek forward for the Longhorns in the bottom of the ninth. They're going to need four at this point to tie. It will be eight, nine, and one due for Texas. Chopped on the ground. Powell has it. Long throw in time across the dice. Comes into the game. It's a right hander, Sam Hall from Beaumont, Texas. 6'193 pounder from. Panola making his ninth appearance of the year. Here comes Sam, 34 and two thirds innings for Sam. 23 strikeouts, 35 hits, contact pitcher for Hall. Looking to close this one out. They're going to move some outfielders around. 
Ferris who made a great catch coming out of the game. So he was already in right field. As he comes jogging across the field. Cade Manning is in right field. So Manning is the defensive change in right field. Hall is the pitcher. And Texas will counter with Casey Borba to be the pinch hitter to start the night. So a lot of wheels turning here in the bottom of the ninth. A lot of new faces. Freshman from Santa Ana, California will step in. Texas like to get a couple on, roll the order over. Yeah, you got the right spot if you can get a a base runner out of the first two batters and you're getting back to the top of the frame. First pitch misses outside for ball one to Borba. Go, Horn, go. Go, Horn, go. Chasing as many. You would like to get Baloo to the plate in the inning. That's the fourth hitter in your lineup. So you do that, you got a chance to maybe tie this thing up. But you got to have base runners first. Slider swing and a miss. And it's one and two. So Hall set. And two misses outside. Bobcats won the first meeting of the year down in Houston in the Houston Collegiate Classic, 11-10. Longhorns won game two of this series, 9-1, and Bobcats lead here in the rubber match of this three games on the year. This ball chopped foul by four. Steve's legs, and he didn't even move down there. <laughs> Coach Rod decided to let that one go. Well, he never moved. It just went right between the wickets. The 2-2 again. Just missed the outside corner. And it's a full count. So Borba steps back in. Ripped, hooked, foul. Look out. Oh. Uncle Karam's in a nice one handed grab down there. From the Hurting second people row. with a high five. Might have saved someone on the front row with that one handed grab. Yeah, you, I saved you. The payoff again. Foul back. We'll do it again with the 3 2 count. Kinds of people happy to get foul balls now. Oh, that hitting. So a leadoff base runner. Texas was something working here in the bottom of the ninth. Kennedy coming to the plate. Kennedy singled to right his first time up. Struck out and fly to right, one for three. Tell me Farmer out of the dugout to run for Casey Borba. So Farmer comes on as the pinch runner. Freshman from Santa Monica, California. As Kennedy steps in. Bobcats a double play depth in the infield. In outfield very deep. No double situation trying to keep the ball in front of them. First pitch catches the outside corner for strike one. Hall comes set. Breaking ball stays up. See, when Hall comes set in the stretch and he comes to the plate, the two pitches he's thrown, watch his head dip. 
before he lifts his foot. It's so un sort of unusual. This ball chopped on the ground. Looks at second, goes to first, does Gonzalez. All he was looking for was an out right there and got it. Might have had a chance at second, but with a four run lead, you won't out. Right. I mean, again, <laughs> great game defensively and offensively. Hadn't been out there, hasn't played too much. And makes a play like that. That's just a smart baseball play right there. Why, why risk and not get the runner at second when you got to sure out at first? Brings Jared Thomas to the plate. It's two for three on the night, two runs scored, solo homer. His 10th of the year. 56 hits on the year as he steps in now. First pitch misses outside for ball one. As we talked about, you'd like to get Baloo to the plate if you're a Longhorn fan, just to get power to the plate. That means there's going to be at least a couple on. Stairs 2 and 0. Oh. So hitters count now. Inside corner, good location. Not that fastball. Not going to do much with that location. Away, the count evens. So two and two to Thomas now. All set. Just back up the middle into the shift. Lugo there to make the play. The ball was back up the middle, but the shift worked that time. Right up the middle. That ball carrying off the mound. Lugo, again, didn't have to go anywhere. Played right up the middle. The second out. Peyton Powell steps in. He's two for four. He's doubled, scored a run. First pitch in there for a strike. Over the top breaking ball. And it's quickly 0-2. This could do it on the ground and the Bobcats have beaten the Longhorns tonight seven to three win the three games. Yo, listen up, let me take you on a journey where dreams are born and souls burn with fury in the depths of our hearts. We hold our desires, but to make them real, we must light the fires. In the face of adversity, we stand tall with courage in our hearts. We'll conquer all. Do 
through the trials and tribulations We'll endure for our dreams, we'll fight all that we're sure Fight for your dreams, let the music play In the rhythm of life, find your own way With every beat of your heart and every step you take Keep fighting for your dreams, don't let them break from the city streets to the starry skies We'll reach for the heavens with determined eyes With perseverance as our weapon and passion as our guide We'll break through barriers, let our dreams collide In the silence of the night, hear the roar Of warriors fighting for dreams forevermore For in the battle for our dreams We find our strength in the symphony of life Let's go to any length Fight for your dreams, let the music play in the rhythm of life, find your own way With every beat of your heart and every step you take Keep fighting for your dreams, don't let them break So let the music guide you through the storm as you fight for your dreams in every form For in the melody of life, you'll find your truth And in the battle for your dreams, you'll find your youth Yeah, keep fighting for your dreams with all your might In the dance of life, let your spirit take flight For in the end, it's not about the fame But the journey itself, and the fire in your flame